What's going on, man? How's everything going? Good. Just working right now. Got our workouts going on. Coach Thunder getting after you guys right now or what? Yeah, 100%. Got us running 110 like every week. Got us lifting heavy, but it's worth it you know so going into spring ball like what were the, the biggest things you were trying to work on trying to improve upon so my biggest things i had three things that i kind of wrote down it was like shorter steps be very consistent be like three and a foot uh like three and a half yards um hang time try to at least match my distance every time mm -hmm. i like try to get like a four three four 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 five you know and then placement it's so like outside the numbers every time Cause I want to, I want to have multiple games this year where I have no returns. Just like a bunch, a bunch of these, you know. Yeah, yeah, fair catches. Co coaches love that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's cut into some of this tape. And see what we did last year. We'll roll out end over end. Yeah, so we worked on this. This is something kind of our. This is our new thing for that week. So instead of rolling all the way out, it's kind of like a a one two rollout almost okay. instead of like fully rugby in, you know. Yeah, you can see they weren't ready for that. You see how the whole like our turn team like, collapses in. Yeah, because they they were expecting me to go wide. So like 17, you can see that like, kind of expects me to go out there where I usually go. But we've watched it on film all week. And we're like, we're gonna get it right here. And have a nice pocket for me to punt. And there was no Change return on it either. So yeah. changing the block spot like that's really good. And then like especially when you go that way, the return kind of like starts to drift that way. So you yeah. can get like back across the other side. Yeah. Oh, I really like your steps on this one. I think we talked about this a lot, like right when you first got to NC State, it's just like how important like the rhythmic steps are. Um, Cause when you get like real jerky with your steps, like it's it's just not as good. And, and this is really, really smooth, really patient. Yeah, I remember oh. working in the summer all that time, like a couple of years ago, like how long my steps were and how inconsistent my ball where it was. And I remember you just saying like, you got to get that done. Which That's like the biggest yeah. thing that was going to like make a difference um, for like any tall punter, because you want to like take those long steps. You're a big guy. You want to get like a lot of power behind the ball, but we're really going to be at our most consistent, most powerful when we stay short like that. Yeah. So I, love, I see the ball come out and I start running down the field. Yeah. It was moving, huh? <laughs> Are your steps a little different on this one? Is the yeah. So this is supposed to be a one step, but I kind of take a jab with it. Yeah. What was the reason for the one step? Is it kind of a, just because it's a rush look or situation? Yeah, it was, kind of, it was kind of a scheme thing. We saw they rushed a lot and like our kind of get out of jail free was like a one step. I think it's been cool to watch you like continuously get, you know, better and better from where you first came in. Uh, I remember we would do those, um, those competitions on what day was that went th Thursday. Thursdays maybe yeah we do those competitions on Thursdays and uh it's just been cool to see you just go from a little lanky freshman that came in to just great football player so it's, it's been cool to watch and uh congrats on everything excited to keep seeing you pump footballs in Carter Finley Stadium there's there's no better place huh yeah thank you I appreciate it